Welcome back to Ministry Minute. The topic for today is Jesus is real. 1 Timothy 2.5 says, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus. And John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Folks, I'm telling you, Jesus is real. We debate it so much. We fight it so much. We could say every other religion and not flinch. But when you say the name of Jesus, somebody always got to say something. That shows that there is power in the name. Jesus is real, folks. We believe the history books. We believe the textbooks. But we can't believe the word of God. I do not understand. The Bible is fulfilling itself. That's proof right there. There is scientific proof that says Jesus walked this earth and that he died. They found his tomb. And let me tell you something. That tomb is empty. The grave is empty. There ain't no remains there because Jesus died, but he rose again. I'm telling you, every other religion, you have to work for your salvation. You have to work to get to paradise. But with Jesus, it's about a relationship. It's by grace. That we are saved. We are saved by grace. By faith, we are saved through grace. I'm telling you, folks, Jesus is the only way to heaven. He is the only and one true God. Stop denying it. Open your heart. We fight it so much. If we would spend all the time we do fighting Jesus and just ask God from our hearts, help my unbelief. Reveal to me that you are who you say you are. If we would just take the time and effort we do to fight the truth, I'm believing if we take that time to seek the truth, we will find it. We got to seek God, folks. Jesus is returning soon. We got to live right. We got to be right. And for those who are believers, we got to spread the gospel. We got to spread the truth of God to the world. Jesus loves each and every one of us. God loved this world so much that he sent his own son. He turned his back on his son and let his son die. So our sins could be forgiven. Not the sins of Jesus. Jesus was sinless. But Jesus took our place on the cross. And he died for us. We should have been persecuted. We should have had everlasting separation from God. But Jesus died in our place. What greater message is that? Jesus loves you. Get it right with him today.